Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So students in this video, we will discuss unit number 5 important problematic question uh, in business statistics 2 that is poison distribution. So in unit number 5, poison distribution will be easy and most repeated problematic question in part B. So either we may expect one theory question and one poison distribution problematic question from part b in business statistics too and the remaining binomial uh, distribution whatever the problematic you are having you better skip for that because it will be difficult to understand it okay only poison distribution will be easy okay so don't skip the video and watch till the end then only you can easily understand poison distribution by watching this video so just uh, you simply watch this video and make a note of it whatever the thing i am saying okay so here in poison distribution this is the table ma they have given x values 0 1 2 3 4 and y values 123 59 14 3 1 so how you need to do answer means first step number one you need to do the table part what is the table part in what columns you will have in table part means x column y column fx column x is nothing but 0 1 2 3 4 you are having same thing y column is nothing but 123 59 14 3 1 next you need to do fx fx is nothing but this into this okay so 123 into 0 0 59 into 1 59 14 into 2 28 3 3 is a 9 1 4 is a 4 okay like that you need to do any question poison distribution this is the format just total up of f fx and total up of y okay so 59 plus 28 plus 9 plus 4 this is 100 this we will call it sigma fx and uh, f is equal to 123 plus 59 plus 14 plus 3 plus 1 this is 200 okay why we are doing this step number 1 to calculate lambda okay so to calculate lambda we are using lambda formula is sigma fx by sigma f sigma fx how much we got ma 100 sigma f is total of y is nothing but 200 so 100 divided by 200 if you do means you will get lambda value this is called lambda okay 100 divided by 200 if you do means 0 0.5 okay so 0 0.5 here you are having point after one number only you are having you add another number 0 okay so 0 0.50 you are having so in this unit to do poison distribution you need to take the poison distribution table to your examination so it is allowed in the examination you don't worry uh, what is the table i will show it now you need to take the table with along with you you need to carry that or else some colleges will provide that uh, table you need to take a signature on the invigilator because if some of these squads will what they will do means you have done cheating or like that they will do so before that only you take a signature of your invigilator to that table so this is the poison distribution table ma this is allowed in examination so how much lambda value we have got 0 0.50 we need to find out e of m okay so 0 0.5 right see here m, m value 0 0.5 here we are having 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 after 5 what number you are having 0 only you are having so 0 0.5 under 0 here you are having 0 no 0 0.5 under 0 if you do means what is the value here you are having 0 0.6065 at the most na manaki 0 0.50 chindi ma 0 0.50 m value kada chusukovali after 5 whatever for example 0 0.51 undan ankonde so ikkada em isukutamu 0 0.5 under 1 this one you will take okay under 7 anta atla 
ఇంత వస్తే అలా చేసుకొని ఈ ఎం వాల్యూ అనేది మనం కనుక్కోవాలి ఈ ఇటు ది పవర్ ఆఫ్ మైనస్ ఎం వాల్యూ వీ నీడ్ టు క్యాల్కులేట్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ల్యామ్డా ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ కా క్యాల్కులేటెడ్ ల్యామ్డా ఓన్లీ వీ నీడ్ టు ఫైండ్ అవుట్ ది ఈ ఆఫ్ ఎం అండ్ లేటర్ స్టెప్ నెంబర్ టూ వాట్ యూ నీడ్ టు డూ ఈస్ మా హియర్ వీ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ ఎక్స్ వాల్యూస్ ఆఫ్ పి ఆఫ్ జీరో పి ఆఫ్ వన్ పి ఆఫ్ టూ p of 3 and p of 4 okay four axis we are having no 0 1 2 3 4 x is having 4 so zero for zero we need to take only the e of m value e of m value is nothing but 0.6065 we need to take it okay p of 1 what is the formula of p of 1 p of 0 into lambda divided by p of 1 so p of 0 how much we got 0.6065 lambda value is 0.50 divided by this is p of 1 no and you can divide it by 1 you need to calculate it okay so 0.6065 into 0.50 divided by 1 means you will get 0.30325 okay same this number will come here 0.3032 into 0.50 divided by 2 because here we are having 2 no if you do this means you will get 0.0758 you will get same like that 0.0758 into lambda 0.50 divided by 3 if you do this calculation what you will get again you will get 0.013 same like that how many numbers you will have like that you need to do lambda value is 0.50 divided by 3 means you will get 0.002 like that this is the step 2 you need to prepare it ma and the last step is step number 3 so this step is very crucial here you need to draw the table ma here you will have x column here you will have p x column here you will have x column is nothing but how many values we are having 0 value 1 value 2 value 3 value 4 value we are having p of x how much we have got p of x just now we have calculated no so first one is 0.6065 second one is 0.30325 third one is 0.0758 fourth one is 0.013 sorry third one is 0.013 fourth one 0.002 like that you need to do then what is the third column we are having f into p of x you need to do it f value is nothing but how much we got f 200 so 200 into p of x is nothing but this no 200 into 0.6065 you will do if you do means you will get 121.3 next 200 into 0.30325 if you will do minus means 6.60.64 uh, you will get next 200 into 0.0758 you will get do means you will get 15.16 okay idi into idi jayandi Next, 0, 200 into 0 0.013 if you do means 2.6 you will get. And last one 200 into 0 0.002 is equal to 0 0.2. Okay, like that you need to do. If you add this all numbers means you need to get 200. So if it is getting 200 or near to 200 then you have calculated correct means f value and here this value if you add this amount all means if you are getting 200 means you have done a correct answer like that you need to do poison distribution got it students step number one you need to find out the lambda step number two you need to find out the poison distribution table number step number three you need to calculate this all p of 0 p of 1 p of 2 3 4 like that and the last step is table okay x column p x column and n uh, f into p x f is nothing but uh, total of profits total of frequency is 200 200 into p of x 200 into 0 0.6065 is nothing but 123.3 
like that you need to do it okay if you add 123.3 60.64 15.16 2.6 0.2 like that if you add means you will get uh, 200 rupees that is called consignment uh, that is called poison distribution got it students so this is the thing like that you need to calculate poison distribution if you are having any doubts you can let to comment down in the comment section now i will give certain homework problem you need to practice that homework problem and let me know in the comment section answer what is that problem means this is the homework material okay compulsory homework cheyandi homework answer you comment down in the comment section compulsory got it students e of m you need to calculate first you need to calculate lambda so lambda is the symbol of this so fx so sigma fx like that you need to do so this is the homework problem okay students this is all about the video if you like this video then do like share comment and subscribe to our channel and share with all your friends and groups okay this video will be useful for them also so from unit number 5 prepare only poison distribution problematic question and one theory question whichever i have given in the video okay damn sure questions video okay and we are near to 50k subscribers if you like this video if you think this channel is worthy then do like share comment and especially subscribe and let's make 50k subscribers before your ends of the examination okay students so if you are having any queries you can comment down in the comment section all the very best for your examination as well as the preparation see you all in the next video bye bye students